right, Gemini, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please do check out the description box below. There's a ton of information there, links, and all sorts of information. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for a personal reading, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. I could not do it without you guys, and I truly, truly love to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Gemini Love Connection reading for the first half of August. I hope everyone's doing well, and I can't believe we're in August already. Time is just flying. Where is time going? All right, Gemini. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy, and we'll see how that plays into your love reading. And if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So <clears throat> the rest of the reading may be for you. So I would say keep watching, and I assume you would know by the title that's why you're here watching so we'll see what we get for you for gemini first half of august all the decks are listed below also if you are interested in that and they all have been pre-shuffle cut meditated on off camera but i do shuffle a little more on camera so please be patient with that all right for gemini first half of august love connection reading please spirit can we have one card <clears throat> the sun so this could be a Leo. So some Geminis could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun also re represents you, your identity, um, who you are, your soul purpose, your soul mission, um, creativity, happiness and joy, passion, having a lot of drive and ambition, and that sort of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so with this deck here, we will see <clears throat> what's going on. Let's get an overall love energy card for you, Gemini, for the first half of August. Can we have one overall love energy card? My car is upside down. For Gemini, for the first half of August, what is the love energy connect? The connection energy, the love energy between Gemini. And this can be for whoever you have in mind in any type of connection. So please keep that in mind. We'll see what comes out here for Gemini. One card, Gemini in this love connection reading. What is the overall energy like? Spirit, please. Just one card for Gemini. I don't want to give me anything. So... Let me just take from the top. Let's take this one. All right. And we have have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And you have 17 here, which is uh, one and seven is eight. And that's all about action and movement, travel. So there's something in this uh, relationship, that uh, connection, that needs time and patience for some reason before action maybe can be taken because one seven eight is about action so something about time patience kindness all right i don't know we'll see okay so let's get one card for you gemini for you and your person whatever you have in mind how are you thinking and feeling about them and feeling about this connection we have the union of hearts there is a connection of love that defies explanation Wow, and you have eight and two, which is 10. And you know, tens are usually about endings and then one is a new beginning. But this just could be a total completion of a union, like two people finally coming together and having their, finally having their union. And it's like the completion of the journey. And now here's the end of the journey where these two people are coming together in union. So, and you see like this tree is very stable and grounded. And I was gonna say here with sun, is one and three, which is four. Fours are all about stability. 
So I feel like this could be, you know, could have the potential here, or you feel this has the potential to grow into something, into completion of a very firm, solid foundation for the long term with this union. I'm, I'm feeling like you feel that. So let's see how, but for some reason, there may be on hold here, um, something here about being patient and patient and kind. So to me, have patience is maybe it's on hold or something like that. Or maybe you want it to move on very quickly and your person wants to take a more slower approach. I don't know. Maybe you're feeling very fiery and passionate about this person and this connection. But the universe is telling you to take a slower approach and have more patience. All right. So let's see how Gemini, Gemini, how is their person feeling about them and this connection okay and we have new love okay so this is definitely a new love situation here and while we have 26 which is eight and over here we have eight and they have new love embrace this new opportunity of love that is here this person this may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth but I'm also feeling like this is a new connection here. And I think you want to move along very quickly and just like want to boom, like commit to this person right away. But they're seeing it as, you know, very new and fresh. And they, you know, and they also have growth here too. So I think they feel like also probably the same energy as you that this could grow into something. But I think, I mean, if you both want to like move along very quickly, um, I think the universe is saying here, maybe you both need to just maybe slow it down a little bit, have more patience, um, and take your time is what I'm getting. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. And then we have 10 again. So we have 10 here and we have 10 here. That's 20. 20 equals 2. Two people coming together in union, definitely here. And with eight and eight, I feel like definitely uh, wanting to rush in and just like commit right away or whatever. And uh, I definitely feel like here, this is a definite um, union here, a treasured union. I think you both love each other deeply. Um, wow. Yep, so. And even under that, we have focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each other and each and every person in your life. So, and then that six, two, four, six, peace, harmony, balance. Wow. A lot of love, peace, harmony, balance, passion, fiery energy, wanting to move very, very quickly. I think the two of you, but the universe is saying, slow it down a little bit. All right. So let's see. Let's see, Gemini. This is exciting. New love for you. All right. So let's get some clarity with the tarot. All right. So let's clarify you with the union of hearts. The union of hearts for Gemini. Can you clarify? Giving me that's three, that's way too many. Well, I guess this one. The Hermit. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. So, wow. So we have commitment to your spiritual growth, and over here they have spiritual growth. Wow. So the hermit, you know, is Virgo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So that's an energy of like going within, seeing the light, finding the light, doing that inner journey work, uh, thinking, contemplating kind of energy here. So, I mean, I think maybe you thought about it long and hard and maybe you already know here. And here's with the nine again, which um, I thought we had nine here somewhere. Well, maybe not. Um which, you know, is about, uh, you know, which is coming true also the number nine, but um, 
with the hermit here, it's like you already decided and you knew and you thought about it long and hard that this is your person. Um, again, maybe for some reason there is a little break here because the hermit is kind of like goes on their own and they retreat off on their own. It's a very solitary energy. For so, so for some reason you're in like a solitary energy yet you want this union very quickly. Huh, that doesn't really make sense. Or it could just be you, you know, you thought about it long and hard. Or maybe there was a period here where you thought about it for a long time before you even approached this person to tell them how you felt. So let's see what your person's energy. Let's, they have new love. Eight of springs. So this is the eight of wands clarifying um, eight over here. They have eight. The sun is very fiery, passionate energy. And now we have the eight of spring, which is fire. Uh, Leo Sagittarius, stress that comes from having many things happening at once, success, successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. So this is the eight of spring to me, eight of wands is always that fast action, communication, very passionate messages um, and that sort of thing. So maybe you're the one that wants to slow it down. Maybe they want to move forward very quickly and you want to take a slower approach and you want it to grow very slowly. It's what the hermit is like, it's a very solitary energy. And the eights over here are very, you know, fast. They have three eights, they have eight, eight. Well, this is a general overall energy, but it's still an eight. So it's like eight is, you know, eight, 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 and then have patience. So I feel like eight, they want to rush forward very quickly and with the have patience and the hermit here, and then the tree here, which is slow growth stability, um, you want to make sure that this grows into a long-term, stable, connected energy and take a slower approach. And they want to like, boom, rush in. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here now. Wow, so we have the Ace of Spring, fire energy. The Seven of Autumn, Seven of Pentacles, and the Magician. And this is Gemini and Libra energy here. So, and this is just clarifying what I just said. Wow. So the Ace of Spring is a passionate brand new beginning. It's time to take action, be fearless, and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be career. This is a love reading. So this is like wanting to rush in fearlessly. Um, very passionate, exciting uh, new beginning here. And that's connected to you. So I think, you know, you want, you know, you're definitely feel, feeling the passion too. And you also want this fiery, passionate new beginning with this person. And then they have the magician connected to them, which is Gemini. So, I mean, definitely could be connecting with some sort of fire sign here. And I feel like, you know, they want to manifest this with you because it says here, you can do anything, take charge of of your life, you can manifest what you need to be a success. So, and that's a one, which is about, you know, a brand new beginning. So yeah, this person definitely wants to really rush in and manifest very quickly this new beginning with you. And you have a new beginning also with the Ace of Spring. So I feel like you both want it. They want to take a very fast approach and you want to take a slower approach because now we have a Seven of Autumn, Seven of Pentacles. Pentacles are very slow energy. It's long term, it's it's success, stable, um, firmly grounded energy. So another seven of autumn, have patience. Wow, have patience. Holy crap. <laughs> and don't worry, take time to rest and plan your next steps. Exactly. A prudent investment of time or money. So exactly. So this is a well invested connection here. It's connecting the two of you. The seven of autumn is a very slow paced energy. It's like planting the seeds and then you're patiently waiting uh, for that to bloom. So, so, you know, the situation is, you know, you want a slow approach and they want to rush in, but then you come together and meet halfway, I feel. And, you know, they slow down a little. Maybe you speed up a little. You meet in the middle. You make plans. You know, you have the patience here the time, you plan it all out for the long-term investment for the future. Wow. Okay, so let's see what your advice is, Gemini, moving forward. So we have the lovers, and this is your card, Gemini. Wow. 
true love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. And we have the Prince of Winter. Intellectual, determined, focused, impulsive. This is your energy, your energy. A Libra Gemini Aquarius. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and de decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes. So, in the Prince, that is, um, I believe that is the Knight. That is the Knight of Swords. So, so your advice is this, you know, choosing this person to choose this person. This is your soulmate. This is the one you're supposed to be with. This is you making that choice. You want this person. You definitely feel the union here, uh, the true love, the deep love. And this is choosing this person, knowing this is your one. This is your soulmate. And then you have the Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Swords. So this can be like fast action moving forward. Um... But it does say, and seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. So I feel like your advice, because the energy is here to meet in the middle and compromise, they slow down, maybe you speed up a little and you compromise in the middle and moving forward in this connection. So I feel like if that hasn't happened yet, you need to let them know you do choose them. They are the one for you. You feel them as your soulmate, whatever it is for you, and communicating to them you know, this is what we need to do moving forward for our connection for the future and coming to that resolution and solution. So let's see what your, I'll put this down a little bit, your possible outcome will be. The eight of autumn now. So this is do more research before proceeding, education in the form of seminars, going back to school and, or apprenticeships excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. So your outcome is this will be a lifelong connection, a lifelong pos um, partner. This will be a very stable, sturdy, grounded connection. You will build and grow and work together for the long term. Very successful um, grounded energy here for the two of you for the future. That's putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, moving forward long term the pentacles are always investments for long term and this is putting the work in and the dedication with this connection wow so let's get more clarifiers for you gemini so we have the five of summer trust that there is a reason for everything that happens remove yourself from the negative emotions of others focusing on that which frightens or worries you so this is the five of cups so this can talk of sorrow, loss, hurt. So I don't know. I don't know how that plays into your reading. Maybe you overcame something from the past that was, you know, a loss. It was very sad and painful at that time. The five of cup energy. Them, you, maybe the two of you. So here's the sun. So here's, wow, double confirmation of the sun. Wow. So this is your total soulmate here. Could even be a twin flame situation. They could definitely be a Leo or an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, or they could be a fire. Because we do have fire. We have fire. I mean, we have all the signs here. So it could be anybody. But here's do double confirmation of the sun. Which is, you know, plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and Commend, common commendations, commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. So this is, you know, success, victory, happiness, joy, you know, enlightenment, growth, expansion, the happiest card in the deck, and you got it twice. Wow. So whatever sadness you had in the past, you're going to have double the happiness moving forward with this person. So we have the King of Autumn. So here, you know, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted, earth energy here. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way. A good person or company to work for. So again, you're you're feeling very grounded in this connection. You know it's stable, it's grounded, it's secure. Um, yep. 
very uh, secure connection here. Abundant growth, expansion, stable. So we have the moon energy, Cancer or Pisces. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. So I think you finally come to realize, you know, if you were confused at one time about this person or unsure about them or unsure about this connection, the moon is here to tell you. You have the sun twice, which overshadows the moon, that this is your person. You've had that enlightenment um, and this epiphany that this is your soulmate, this is your person. So now we have the two of spring, fire energy. So a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams. Good, great progress being made. So I feel like maybe, you know, you two have the same ideals and goals and uh, same dreams moving forward. So this is making plans together. Um, it looks like a boat there. So, you know, maybe you'd like to both go boating or canoeing or something. But this is two people, like-minded people, making plans, decisions for their future. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Princess of Winter. Inquis inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic, inquisitive. I couldn't say that word. Information that can help you, but, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. So this is uh, the page of air. So this is, you know, communication, truthful, honest, open communication. Um, sometimes can be, you know, doing research or, you know, keeping tabs on each other on social media, that kind of thing. But I just feel like it's very open, honest communication between the two of you. This is your uh, energy Gemini. So you could be just a very open, honest, truthful person communicates clearly and that can be the energy between the two of you so we have the queen of spring so i definitely feel like this could be an earth sign <clears throat> i mean a fire sign because now we have the queen of can be male or female that you're connecting to um brilliant loyal talented friendly believe in yourself wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life so you know the queen of spring is that fire energy um queen of wands just very passionate go-getter successful very ambitious have a lot of drive very successful person very creative all right and then we have unity five do the right thing for the right reason Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you as spiritually minded community. So I believe this is the Hierophant. Yep, so this is Taurus energy. So here's long-term commitment, could even be marriage. Maybe you guys, I, I had that energy at the beginning and I didn't want to say it about rushing in quickly. Maybe you just want to get like, boom, get married right away. Because um, this is the Hierophant, that's about marriage, commitment, doing what's moral, just, and right, spiritual, spirituality, faith, religion, that sort of thing, organization, structure. Um, so yeah, I feel like definitely a yeah, definite commitment, possible marriage in the future between the two of you. Here we have the two of cups here, the two soulmates, the lovers coming together here, two of cups, falling in love or making a serious commitment. Commitment, wow. To someone, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. So here's the two, two cups. Soulmates coming together. Yep. Two soulmates coming together. Deep, deep bond, connection, love, passion. You know, clear, open communication. It's a lot of stability and growth. Wow. This looks great, Gemini. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see, Gemini. Let's get a little extra uh, guidance messages here for you in this connection for the first half of August. What do we have for Gemini? The first half of August. Any extra messages, guidance, advice for Gemini in this love connection? First 
half of August spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do we have for Gemini? Well, <laughs> here's the proposal. Here is um, a gift. Someone coming with a dozen roses with messages of love. Queen of Spades here, which is uh, the Queen of Swords energy. So um, there again, that's your energy, Gemini. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Queen of Swords coming forward with that offer of love, uh, communication, words of affection, love here. Nine, you know, dreams coming true um, and that sort of energy. Um, wow. So there's the flowers for your person or the, your person giving them, offering them to you. So, yeah, so we have the owls here as a very wise energy, like a deep knowing and trusting your gut, your intuition. Um, very wise decision here to go with this person because you have one and two, which is three, which is about reuniting, coming together, celebrating. You know, there could be some, um, and here's the sun again. Wow, the sun again. You know, choosing that path, choosing that uh, direction, going in the right direction with the 22, two people coming together, the eight of um, swords, the eight of spades. So maybe, I don't know, that's mental entrapment. So I don't know. Um, I think maybe you're just very bound to each other. This is a very heavy soulmate energy. There's your happiness, success, two people coming together, four, definitely soulmate twin flame energy. There's the Ace of Pentacles, brand new, you know, stable, grounded, secure beginning for the long term, life partner, um, success here, um, growth, expansion, wealth, abundance. Seven of Pentacles again, the Seven of Diamonds, which we had right here, right in the middle of your spread. So taking a slow approach and planting those seeds and planning, planning it all out for your future together. And doing the work together with the th three energy, stabilizing the relationships, you know, twin flame energy with four, two again, two people coming together, soulmate energy. Wow. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have this energy here, which is all about, you know, having this life of luxury, feeling like you're living in a palace, feeling so enriched. Having so much abundance, you may not even live in a palace, you may live in a shack, but to you, you're living a life of light, living in a palace. Again, 10, so again, like the 10 of cups, that completion, unity of this lifelong partnership that will come. And the six of spades, again, going in that healing, uh, balanced direction, a lot of peace and harmony, better place. Yep, wow. Wow rock here i feel like mountain this is like a rock solid connection here eight of wands again eight with the fiery passionate communication three again with coming together and working together um crossing any bridges that need to be crossed 11 half of the twin flame two again people two people coming together wow wow gemini Quite a reading for he, you for here, uh, for you here, Gemini. If you're wondering about your connection, if you feel it's heading in this direction, <clears throat> I'm just telling you, it's all here. This is your soulmate, twin flame, lifelong partner. But if you're rushing in, uh, you might want to slow down just a little bit. <coughs> Sorry, and make a more um, stable, grounded approach for the long term. <clears throat> Because this is your lifelong partner. Wow, Gemini. That's quite a reading. So, Gemini, if this resonates for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So, please don't miss, uh, miss out on that. And best of luck to you in your situation. I don't know how it could get any better. I mean, you have the sun three times. Um, the sun here, the sun there, the sun here. I mean, come on, triple sun. I mean, triple happiness. <clears throat> wow, it's unbelievable. So uh, best of luck. It doesn't look like you need luck, but I'll send you more luck. 
and many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.